We are Current Energy, your solar thermal specialists. In this video, we will overview the assembly of the VTC400 Solar Thermal Collector. The first step is the assembly of the frame. Here you can see the VTC400 frame assembled less its rear legs and feet. Not using the rear legs allows us to flush mount the system. Initially, you should only hand tighten the nuts and bolts. When the frame is secure, attach the center manifold. When the manifold is secure, attach the feet. There are six feet in total. Here is the VTC400 frame flush mounted to a roof. We have added four stunted legs, two on the right hand side, two on the left, which ensures the pool water in the tubes will drain back into the manifold. When installing evacuated tube collectors, do not open the boxes containing the tubes until they are needed. Tubes that are exposed to the sun will generate heat, and hot tubes when filled with cold water may succumb to thermal shock and break. You should install two tubes, one on either end of the system, to ensure that it is squared up before installing the remainder of the tubes. With the frame assembled, manifold in place, and all your plumbing completed, it is time to install the evacuated tubes. It is important to lubricate the open end of the tube that will enter the manifold so that you do not damage the manifold's internal gaskets when inserting the tubes. Water should do the trick, but if you find you are still having trouble, add a little soap and lubricate the openings of the manifold as well. Avoid using lubricants such as WD-40, as the lubricant you use will find its way into your pool water. After the tubes are lubricated, it is advisable to add the gasket to the tube. The smooth finished side should face to the base of the tube, the rougher end of the gasket will fit snug against the manifold. To insert the tube into the manifold, take the open end of the tube and place it into the opening of the manifold. Holding firmly, gently oscillate the tube until you feel it move into place. You can tell the system is square when the gap between the manifold and the tube at the manifold openings is equidistant along the whole of the circumference. After the frame is secured to the roof, plumb the supply and return lines to the system's manifold. This is a more traditional connection configuration with a vent. All pool systems require a vent to avoid pressurization. Once in place, you can attach irrigation hose to a reducer at the base of the vent. Irrigation hose can be used for both supply and return lines. It is also possible to use CPVC or Schedule 80 for your fittings. However, if your system stagnates for any reason, it is possible these fittings will warp or deteriorate. When roof mounting the collector, ensure you seal all areas where you have penetrated the roof.